So namaste to everyone students. I am Pravin Tripathi once again welcoming you from Layal Public School Bikaner and I am your computer teacher and this will be your second session of the chapter 1 and I am hoping that you have understood and enjoyed the last session. So continuing our chapter 1 which is about the computer networking and this will be the session number 2. Okay so now first we have to understand what we are going to learn from this session. so today's agenda is we will understand the applications of networking then we will go to the types of computer network in which we learn pan lan man and when and then we will understand some important terms related to the internet such as url isp ip address internet service providers isp that means so this is the today's agenda today's session's agenda so let's start it with together okay So yes, first topic is applications of networking. Yes, as now you can see on your screen that uh, there are some text is dancing up on the, your screen, and these are the basic application of networking. So networking has become an important part of business, industries, education, and entertainment. Yes, we all know that we are using a networking concept everywhere. As uh, in the previous session, I have told you the railway network, the postal network. So these are the basic network. But whenever we talk about a computer network, so we are using everywhere. As you can see in the business, industries, education, and entertainment. Once again, if you are using the YouTube, if you are using the Zoom uh, app, so it is the example of wireless network. So everywhere around us, we are using the networking. So we can say that there is a vast application of networking. So some of the applications of the network internet are first one is the electronic messaging, second electronic data interchange that means the EDI, and third is teleconferencing, fourth one is electronic fund transfer that means the EFT we also say. So first one is here electronic messaging. So very uh, easy to understand that we can send and receive email to anyone in any part of the world by using the internet. Yes. we know that we can just chat from using the internet we can send the email we can send the youtube videos we can send the images videos uh, documents etc so this is the electronic messaging okay then electronic data interchange electronic data interchange that means the edi is a method of transferring data in a digital format over the network or over the internet yes once i say that i have shared you a pdf so it is an example of electronic data interchange okay sometimes you get the video sometimes you get the images so this is what this is then electronic data interchange now okay then comes to the teleconferencing so teleconferencing allows people to exchange and share their ideas with each other without being present there okay we know that we are just uh, by using the zoom uh, concept zoom app we do what video conferencing that is also referred as the teleconferencing so uh, teleconferencing is of two type first one is the video conferencing and second is voice conferencing so uh, we know that in video conferencing user can see as well as talk and in uh, voice conferencing user can only communicate over the phone or over the devices so next is electronic fund transfer that means the eft eft means uh, whatever we are using on the phone pay paytm google pay so it is an example of eft where we use just a, a person's account number and then we transfer the money or receive the money so it is an example of eft so automated teller machine is also an example of eft okay because it uses the electronics so that why it is known as the electronic fund transfer so i hope that you have understood the applications of networking if someone will ask you about the edi and eft so uh, you should be or you must be answerable at that time okay next the uh, topic is types of computer network wow very nice presentation so here the screen is uh, transisting so based on the geographical area so whenever we just divide or classify the computer network it will be based on the geographical area how much area it is covering it will be based on that okay so across which the computer network is spread how much area it has taken to spread the computer network on that basis we define the we type the uh, computer network okay so first one is the pan that means the personal area network 
second one is LAN, that means the local area network. Third is metropolitan area network, and fourth one is wide area network. Mark my point, students. This is a very important topic. You have to understand on the basic level because these topics come in your nine, ten, eleven, twelfth, and so on. जहाँ तक भी आप पढ़ाई करेंगे. Okay, so these are the types of computer network. So I hope that you have understood. So now let's understand the types of computer network one by one. Okay, so very first network is personal area network, which is also known as the PAN (PAN). Okay, so this type of network is used to provide connectivity to devices like printers, scanners, cell phone, tablets, and etc. Okay, so uh, personal area network, the name suggests everything that it will only provide you the personal space. Just like if I am connecting my uh, PC or two PCs to a printer, so it is my personal space. the best example is when you connect your parents your fathers or your mothers uh, mobiles hotspot to your mobile via wifi so it is an example of personal area network okay just like if i am connecting my headphone to my computer so it is known as the personal area network as you can see on your screen in the uh, picture also so the coverage area of the network is very small and is in the range of 5 to 10 meters only so you have to learn how much the coverage area of a network so personal area network coverage is 5 to 10 meters only because it provides only the personal space so i hope that you have understood the pan now it's time to understand local area network very important network and this is using this we are using everywhere so this type of network is spread within a small geographical area like room office building or a campus okay so uh, as you can see when you will come here in uh, lps campus this is the campus there uh, then i will show you that there is a very huge lan network is being established in our campus ठीक है यहाँ पर राउटर्स लगे हुए हैं जहाँ पर आप एक बिल्डिंग कैंपस को जब आप कवर करते हो इंटरनेट के थ्रू या नेटवर्किंग के थ्रू तो वो लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क होता है यानी कि इसका बेसिक कहाँ रहता है जियोग्राफिकल यानी कि एक ऑफिस में बिल्ड किया जा सकता है एक बिल्डिंग में बिल्ड किया जा सकता है किसी एक पर्टिकुलर कैंपस में सो ऑल द कंप्यूटर्स इन द लैंड आर कनेक्टेड थ्रू केबल्स या फिर आप केबल से भी कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं और वायरलेस लिंक्स से भी कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं फिर से मैं बताऊंगा कि हर एक नेटवर्क का का रेंज याद होना चाहिए सो लोकल एरिया स्प्रेड्स द इन द एरिया ऑफ जीरो टू टेन किलोमीटर सो इट्स हाईएस्ट कैपेसिटी टू टेन किलोमीटर लेट्स मोर अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क due to the small geographical area covered by the lan the communication speed is faster yes jitna zyada area chhota hoga utni zyada speed achhi hogi the cost in setting up the lan is slow theek hai to thoda sa cost jo hai jo price hai wo hamara kam lagta hai kyunki lan ka jo geographical span bhi hota hai wo bhi kam hota hai after discussing the pa and pan and la and lan now it's time to understand the metropolitan area network which is also known as the met okay so this is a larger network as compared to lan okay because it covers a city the best example of a metropolitan area network is the cable connection the cable tv connection that you have are having in your home is an example of metropolitan area network okay because it is it is covering a city and it is giving all the channels all the broadcasting of tv channels to your house okay so the communication medium used to connect the computers in man is similar to that in lan so the communication medium the installation process is the same but the geographical area the coverage area will be enhanced will be larger than compared to than compared to lan okay the size of a man can range from 10 to 50 kilometers so yes once again we have to understand the range so it will start from 10 to 50 kilometers so as it covers a larger geographical area the cost involved in setting up a man is much higher than land very obvious to understand uh, if we are setting or we are planning uh, to a larger object we are planning the larger geographical area then it will cost much okay as you can see in the picture that man is a collection of land just like if i take the hospital land if i take the college land if i take the school land and factory land together and combine or make a uh, just one single network then it will be referred as the metropolitan area network or we can say the map so last but the, not the least but very important type of network is wide area network which is also known as the wan web okay so this type of network covers a very large geographical area across a country or a continent okay so uh, so far we have discussed that this uh, this type of um, 
network some is covering the city some is covering a building some is covering only the personal space but when we talk about the wide area network it covers the whole country whole continent sometimes yes the internet is the biggest example of wide area network because uh, by using the internet we can access the globe only okay we have access to everything because it have the widespread area okay so when is generally established by a large organization having offices spread across the country or continent okay so it is established by a large organization aur jinke offices hote hain wo country or continent mein set up kiye jate hain okay then when is connected through telephone lines satellites and wireless medium so telephone lines ke through when ka connection hota hai satellites ke through and wireless mediums ke through so because of the widespread area of when the data transfer is slow yes very well to understood that थोड़ा सा स्लोअर हो सकता है रेलवे रिजर्वेशन सिस्टम एयरलाइन रिजर्वेशन सिस्टम एंड ए टी एम आर गुड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वेन बिकॉज इट सेंट्रल सर्वर इज एस्टेब्लिश इन दिल्ली और वी कैन से मुंबई बट इट इज स्प्रेड इन ऑल ओवर द इंडिया एंड यस इंटरनेट इज द लार्जेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वेन okay so as you can see in the picture that when is the collection of land when is connection of man when is connection of collection of pen also so we can derive pen land and man from the when so i hope that you have understood the types of computer network in a much detailed manner and if you have any kind of doubt you can ask to me in my personal uh, contact number so now we have to understand some important terms related to internet yes we all are using internet very frequently we all are habitual to use the internet so now we have to understand some basic terminologies of internet yes because i don't think uh, so that you all are much familiar about these internet terminologies so some of the important terms related with networks and internet are as follows first one is url second one isp third is ip address and fourth domain name system there are so many internet terminology that i will complete in the next session but uh, i have taken only the four important terms related to the internet in this session only the remaining part i will complete in the next session that means in the part 3 so first one is uniform resource locator that means the url okay so every resource on the internet has a unique address which helps to locate it on the internet first of all you tell me what do you mean by the resource resource can be the image resource can be a text file resource can be a pdf file resource can be a video so every resource that we access on the internet we send on the internet we download on the internet has a particular unique address okay so that we can locate it so the resource can be a web page website document or program so this address is known as url so whatever the address of any kind of uh, resources on the internet is known as the uniform resource locator that means the url as you can see on your screen that http is a kind of protocol www. Uh, is a subdomain google.com is a url so www.google.com is an example of url uniform resource locator next one is internet service providers isp i think you all are using airtel jio uh, vi so what is this this is nothing but an isp an isp is a company or organization which provides connectivity to the internet and its services to the user against some fee what we are doing is we are having a connection in which we first uh, pay them then the uh, allow us to access the internet or allow us to do the callings so this is what this is an isp that means the internet service providers okay so these companies are nothing but an internet service providers because they charge some fees and then they allow the access to the networking okay so an isp charges a fee depending on the connection speed okay the connection speed determines how fast the data is sent to your computer and it is measured in mbps not the megabytes it i am saying the megabits okay mbps means the megabits per second next one is ip address that means its full form is internet protocol address an ip address or we can say the internet protocol address is an identifying number of a network device which allows it to communicate with other on that I, uh, ip based network like internet okay so there uh, this is an misprinted thing tp it will be an ip okay 
so uh, every computer has a unique identifying number when it's used the internet or when it's used the network okay jab bhi koi computer network use karta hai internet use karta hai to har ek computer ka ek alag se address ban jata hai jo unique hota hai to use apne kya bolte hai ip address as you have seen also uh, might be you have seen also 192.168.1.34 something like that so these are the example of the ip address so starting Seven letters uh, are the network ID, and the remaining two is the host ID. So, last but not the least, domain name system very important. You might heard about a domain just like uh, we have a unique business name, just like Reliance, just like uh, Tata, Geo, uh, whatever. So, these are the unique domain names. Okay, we can't just copy them. Okay, Nestle, Dabur, Patanjali. so it is a kind of brand name so yes it is a system of generating the brand name securing the brand name so you can make your own website so you can access your own website by unique name okay so that uh, mean the domain name so a system which control the domain name system okay it is a system used for identifying the location of various web resources like web pages or websites on the various web servers as you all know that web pages and websites are located on the web servers so whenever we want to access any kind of web pages website so it must have some address as we understood in the url so when we find it with what with the help of domain name okay it is a combination of two or more parts first is contains the domain name and then it contains the domain extension just like as you can see on our screen that t uh, techtarget.com so techtarget is a kind of domain name and .com is a an example of domain extension so our uh, last slide of today's session is dns that means the domain name system and here i have mentioned some extension and their descriptions okay so .com refers the commercial website dot org means the non profit making organization that means any kind of organization dot net means that it will be used uh, using as network resource organization dot edu or dot ac means the educational or dot ac means the academic websites dot mil means military websites and dot gov means the government website okay so uh, i think this is enough for today and i hope that you have enjoyed the session and uh, you will have to learn this all the terminologies so i think this is enough for today and thank you very much for watching this session please follow the covid appropriate behavior until then take care bye bye